picked that ice. Mm -hmm. That's at least 10 inches. I think it's over a foot. Yeah. We are out on a lake today. We're going to try and do some ice fishing. It's about minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit. The ice looks really thick. People have been out here driving around on vehicles, it appears. It's nice and sunny. A little bit chilly, but not too bad. Let's see if we can catch some trout. We brought a little bit of everything to try, but first we're gonna try these jig heads with a shrimp bait. We've had a lot of luck with these in the past, so figured we'd give that a try first. Just got your gloves wet. The ice is too here, so. Oh my so gosh, that's feet. like. That's like two feet. That's way thicker than I thought it was. <laughs> We could definitely bring it side by side out here if we wanted to. Wow, what a piece of crap. <laughs> Wasn't that even like the heavier duty one? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. What'd you get? I got the rainbow. It's a little rainbow. Look at that pretty fish. Whew. Cool. It's definitely smaller than I'm used to catching. <laughs> yeah, I think that's kind of normal for here though. And you caught him on the little tube worm. Yeah. With a little bit of shrimp seasoning on it. Yeah. We've been here for like two hours and the little shrimp bait wasn't working. So I decided to switch to this little tube worm. And this, that's what got him about I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour with the tube worm, and that's what he was biting at for about an hour, and I finally got him. I can see him. No, you can't. We dipped Katie's tube worm in shrimp flavoring and it seemed to work pretty good. She didn't take too long to catch her first one. So I'll switch over to the same thing and see if it works for me. It's all good and shrimpy. Eagle just landed in the top of that tree back there. See him in the very tippy top? Yeah. There's one calling. Oh, yeah. Calling his buddy in. <laughs> it looks like they're fighting. I seen one outside yesterday morning. Did you? Yeah. 
much more better looking at your fish. Probably. <laughs> oh, I got something. I got one. Oh, no, 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 no. It got off. Right when it got to the hole. Gosh darn it. No, about the size of that one. I've been feeling him bite for like two minutes. We were only able to get the one rainbow trout and we're losing daylight so we're gonna eat some dinner and then head on home take care of the dogs and we'll probably come back out to a different lake tomorrow and see what else we can catch. You look like you're frozen still. I mean I am pretty cold. I I wasn't this cold until like five minutes ago. <laughs> Good morning. We are out here again this morning. We decided to go with a different lake today. This lake is supposed to have better fishing. There are rainbow trout and coho salmon in here. We're really targeting the trout, but we'll take either. Feisty little thing compared to the one yesterday. Yeah. He's not big, but he'll make a something. Try a little bit different a spot. We had a couple of bites on the other one and we did catch one fish, but we're hoping to find a spot with more fish. Must just be a little dinker. Oh, it's warmer down there. Finally got a nice one. It's pretty big. Bigger than the other two so far. He's pretty. Oh, uh -huh. he's a really nice rainbow. 17 and a half. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, he still might get a lot bigger one. He wasn't like nibbling on it first. 
He didn't nibble? No. He just straight he took just it. He just straight took it. That's why I think them nibblers are like really tiny ones. Yeah. What? I had a bite. Yeah. Make sure it didn't take didn't take my bait. Probably should have left it down there. Oh, oh man, look at it. another good one. Oh my gosh, this one's spicy. <laughs> I knew I felt them biting. Don't let them do that. I'm not going to <laughs> Man, what do you think this one is? About the same. Think like 16, 17 inches? Yeah, probably about the same as the last one, about 16. Yeah, I'd say probably about 17 and a half. So, probably, I think this one's probably like 16 and a half. <laughs> what do you think? It's a nice one. Maybe one of these times you can save me a trout. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm glad to see you catching them. About 14 and a half. Okay. 15. Yeah. A little less than 15. Are you enjoying your trout fishing in the ice? Yeah. Got three today. So <laughs> that's a lot better than yesterday. Try again. to boil some water yeah. with the jet boil. Well, it boils like instantly. This thing must be working good to keep it from freezing. Yeah. It's not even ice in there. Shocker. It was negative five when we got here this morning and it hasn't warmed up much. So we're making some coffee to warm ourselves up, eat a snack and keep on fishing. The outside of the cup is still frozen. It's oh my gosh, it the cooled, lid's frozen shut. It cooled down so much. It's like not even hot anymore. No. Wow, that's crazy. It's like just drinkable. What would you do if the lid just froze to the... Oh. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. Probably shouldn't have those out here. These are almost frozen. <laughs> it's gotta be getting close to negative time. Yeah. Now the sun's going almost down. Yeah. I haven't had this current jelly in a while. I know. It's gonna be good. It's a little, I'm surprised it's not even. Frozen? Yeah, it's been in that cooler. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, this current jelly is so good. Can jam. Oh, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Almost frozen. Uh-oh. It hurts your cheeks, it's so cold. Oh my gosh, it's so sweet. Might be. Is it sweeter than when we originally made it in the summer? I don't think so. It's really good paired on these biscuits. Mm -hmm. The only thing that would be better is if it was a warm biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a partially frozen biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully maybe this summer there's a lot more currants that grow. Yeah, this is my favorite jelly of all the ones that we made. Yeah. I wonder if the currents didn't do good because of how rainy and cool it was all summer. Maybe. You know what would have made it good too? What's that? Like the cloud of cream. What is that? Like the cream that I make when I usually make scones. Oh, yeah. Like that double cream. Yeah. Dang it. Making a mess here. That would have been really good on there too. Yeah. Messy. Mm -hmm. Good job.
these things are anything like deer, they come out to feed at night too. Like right when the sun goes down, they get more active. I mean, we might want to relocate to those holes because they're in the sun. What now? Those holes are in the sun. Yeah, now. Yeah. Is that a black bunny over there? Yes, it is. Look. I'm getting jiggy with it. <laughs> you like that? I've had a pretty successful day fishing. I got two rainbow trout and the first one I caught was actually a coho salmon. It's a little small, but it took longer than expected to get the hook out and it lost a lot of scales in the process. And we didn't think it would make it if we put it back in. And it is a legal catch, so we just decided to keep it. They'll all make a really great dish. We're just about out of sunlight, so we're gonna start packing up and heading out. We had a great fishing trip. We're gonna get these fish filleted up and make something out of them, see if we can cook some dinner. Paste up. Shrimpies in there. Here's Katie's sardine. <laughs> He's about the size of a sardine, huh? <laughs> Monstrous fillet there. <laughs> So we're gonna make chili lime trout. We are super excited to try this recipe. Unfortunately, we don't have an oven inside, so we are using this grill out here. And we also didn't want the RV to smell like fish. So we decided to do all of the flaying outside. Unfortunately, it's a little bit cold, so everything is starting to freeze, but we'll see how it turns out. So unfortunately it seems like the regulator keeps freezing up on this grill because it's so cold out here. So we fired up the generator and we're going to take our trout inside and cook it in the air fryer. Mm, smells good. Smells really good, mm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know where to start. The meat. <laughs> it's really flaky. I feel like I got all the bones. Mm. That's good. That jalapeno has it a little spicy. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I like how it just falls right off the skin. Yeah, it's super flaky. I'm glad I didn't bother uh, skinning it out because. There's no point when you eat it like this. Mm -mm. The way this is cooked is really good. Like there's a nice bit of 
bite to it. We had a lot of fun out there fishing and I think next time we'll stay a little bit longer. We'll take the dogs and our ice fishing tent and probably do some night fishing out there. Maybe target some other type of fish or go back out for rainbows. These are really good. Or at least so. stay long enough that maybe I'll catch one. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I could, I the would day be, went by really fast. It, it really did. The day went by quick. Both days went by super quick. Yeah. Especially the second day with all of our catches. And next time, hopefully we catch a few more and we can fill up the freezer with some trout. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get at least a couple dinners worth. Yep. There's no fish. That's plenty of time. <laughs> what are we dipping it in? The shrimp cocktail sauce? Should I talk to the camera about the three people that want us to fall through the ice and tell them that there's probably not a chance of that happening today, unfortunately, because it's two feet thick? No. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have three viewers that really want us to fall through the ice, but it probably won't happen today. The ice is about two foot thick. Maybe next time. If this tube jig doesn't work, you're fired. This would be a really good spot to have a bunch of solar panels. We got enough trout for Diablo. I catch a fish with your rod. I'd laugh. <laughs> just bit. Huh? Something just nibbled. No way. Yeah. Get away from my hole. Do we even live in Alaska? <laughs> Houses everywhere. Really speaks about the wilderness. That's 100% of play. Look at that. Yeah. I think he left. See that? I was like so close, but I didn't seal the deal again. One of these days I'll catch a fish. Probably not 